China is not going to break, not going to support them. What they're going to do, they have always, they have, they have the, always have a backup plan. Something like this to come up with this. So meanwhile, they have, but in such a way now, they are, we call it, they are quite lucky that the armies are saying that they have all the mineral resources just to back them up there. So then, because the China is giving them because they are, they, they need some of the, say like, energy resources that they are giving them, so they are giving favor. Suppose, suppose you say, if that is, uh, if that is gone, so what are you going to do there? So that they have already planned there. So then, meanwhile, so we got to show them why we have so that. Tell me, I've never completely understood it. What, what do these men want? Ooh. The generals. Well, what, what, oh, the, what the, is their psychology? What do they the, want? They, they, the whole thing, they, you know, the it's human nature is very hard because they, they want to have a so they want to have a nice life. That's what only they want. For they would, they, that, that's the very it's very simple. That's the only point there because uh, it's. But they, they can, have a nice life. Yeah, them. yeah, but they but it's the only thing is the the trouble they don't want to share. That's the only very simple. Say like say now what we have we have inflation we have so many things. It's not that we can't they can change it the next day. Say like our money. Our money is nearly worthless. See, like American US dollar became like unofficial money in Burma, you know. You go and buy, you go US, you, everybody, you can use dollars everywhere there. But, but uh, our church is nothing there. See that, and then so they know that, it's not that they are aware of that. So it's one kind of like a strategy, they are holding the people to then get, let the people struggle there. That's what I, my point of view, we always, and then they, it's not that, okay, they can ask the, uh, this, what you call this, IMF, okay, we're going to change the, we're going to rearrange our money, they can do it. They have everything there. Sure, they can do it there. It's not they can't do it. Yeah, everything yeah, they have. Yeah. 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 Another question. Yeah. Yeah. Another, two questions. Yeah. Any questions? Thank you very much for sharing your insight on Burma situation. We've been working from the peripheries. We don't have a very strong voice. We're looking for our Australian counterparts to mm -hmm. take this message. Mm -hmm. There's a very urgent need at the moment. You can mm -hmm. see with the, the looming elections in 2010. Mm -hmm. And the generals are going to go ahead with this. It seems that nobody's going to stop it. And even our Australian government is somehow being sympathetic if, if it is fair and transparent, they're going to support the election. Well, yes, but is there any likelihood that they will be there in Yeah. How can they be? Will they let Aung San Suu Kyi out of house arrest before this election? Will they allow her to reorganize her political party? They might, they might have a token release of political prisoners and say that we have done it. That's what we have said, but they couldn't go ahead. We try to tell the international group globally and also Australian government too not to recognize any results of the election and then state it now before the election happens. We are having a very slow approach here. We want more pressure to, I don't know how to do it. Well, that's an important subject and you should continue to uh, contact Stephen Smith, the foreign minister, about that and ask to have a dialogue with him. Uh, you can say we understand that you have indicated that uh, if the elections are judged to be free and fair, you would propose to recognize, consistent with democratic principles, you would propose to recognize the outcome. Well, please, Mr. Minister, Minister, tell us, by what means are you going to seek to determine, to ascertain that these elections are conducted freely and fairly? Will you be asking the Burmese authorities to allow international observers into the country? Will you be uh, allowing the uh, independent formation of political parties in Burma to contest those elections and so on? Uh, how, how do you, by what means will you be able to reach the decision that elections called for, conducted by the dictators, will be able to be judged for in fact? And I think, uh, have you already asked them these questions? To enter into a dialogue with you about that. Will they allow some of you to go and observe? Will they provide you with protection if you do that? Really, if you go and observe, no, you we, we don't have protection. We want weight. 
we are the one way, the one away from behind. We don't have weight. Very simple. That's a very simple thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So we want a way to put the pressure on the, these people. That's what we 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 are so like we don't have weight. So we need a way. Well, so we are many, asking to get in the How many Karen are there in Australia? There are so many. There still, but still we have a. We don't have weight. Yeah, much. How many Karen are in Australia now? Maybe you can ask. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.